I welcome you to this Biology Paper 2, 2022 GCE representation. Specifically, we are going to answer question 5 from uh, genetics. So, specifically, this one is coming from a sex linked characteristic. So, the question is saying a hemophilic mother had two sons who were both hemophilic. The father was non hemophilic. So the father was non hemophilic which means the father was not sick. So a hemophilic mother had two sons who were both hemophilic. The father was non hemophilic. Okay. So this question is coming from sex linked characteristic. So sex linked characteristic is the occurrence of the non sexy gene on the sexy chromosome. I'm saying is the occurrence of the non-sex gene on the sexy chromosome. Now, before I answer the questions, there are two types of uh, chromosomes, specifically sex chromosomes. There are two types of uh, sexy chromosomes. We have the Y chromosome and also the X chromosome. So I'm saying we have uh, the Y chromosome and also the X chromosome or X chromosome and Y chromosome. Now, what you need to understand is that female, I'm talking about female, specifically the woman, female, they have the chromosomes of um, XX. I'm saying female, they have the chromosomes or the chromosomes of um, X. X like this. Then as for male, male, male they have uh, the chromosomes, they have two chromosomes. They have X and Y. Males, they have X and Y. So now, as for the female, since I'm saying female, they have XX. Then as for male, they have XY. Now, when you talk of um, sex-linked characteristic, since I was saying sex-linked characteristic is the occurrence of the non-gene on the sexy chromosome. Now, the condition here is that sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. So, let me repeat. I'm saying sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome, but it occur on the X chromosome only. Okay, so I'm saying X-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome, but on the X chromosome. Okay, so one of the example of uh, sex-linked characteristic is uh, hemophilia. Okay, so you're going to find that males or male are highly affected D by hemophilia or any sex linked characteristic like red green color blindness those examples now since here i'm saying sex linked characteristic occurs only on the x chromosome and then i was saying female they have x x which means female can be a carrier but a male can't be a carrier I'm saying female can be carriers of a sex-linked disease, but male or a male can't be a carrier because sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. Okay, so let's try to answer this question, which is question A. It's saying define the term hemophilia. So hemophilia is just a blood disorder which is characterized by abnormal bleeding due to the clotting factors, which is factor 8 and 9. So I'm saying hemophilia is the blood disorder characterized by abnormal bleeding due to lack of clotting factors, that is factor 8 and 9. So hemophilia is the blood disorder characterized by abnormal bleeding. 
Okay, so let's for example, you, you wound yourself. You're going to find that if you are having hemophilia, you're going to lose blood until you die. Okay, this one is uh, very deadly because blood lacks uh, proteins or lacks protein factors, which is factor 8 and D9. Okay, so question B is saying, Using letters, using letters x to the power small letter h and x to the power capital letter h. Write down the genotypes of the father and the mother. Now, on this part here, I was saying sex linked characteristic occurs only on the x chromosome. Then, apart from that one, I was saying male. Has, the clom has two chromosomes, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. And then as for female, they have X, X. Then apart from that one, I was saying, male or a male can't be a carrier because sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. Then from the question that we were saying, the woman had two sons who were both hemophilic. The father was non-hemophilic. So which means the mother was hemophilic. So I'm going to say, as for the father, I'm going to write uh, X to the power capital letter H because capital letter H is symbolizing a dominant gene. A dominant gene is more powerful than a recessive gene which is represented by small letter h so i'm saying a dominant gene which is capital letter h is more powerful than a recessive gene which is represented by small letter h so i'm going to say x to the power capital letter h and then i'm going to write y i was saying male has two chromosomes male has two chromosomes the X1 and the Y chromosome. The X chromosome and the Y chromosome. Sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. That's why I'm not putting H on the Y chromosome. So it is X to the power capital letter H, then Y. Then as for a mother, I was saying female as only one chromosome, which is XX. So I'm going to say, since the mother was hemophilic, I'm going to say x to the power small letter n. Then x to the power small letter n. Apart from that one, the x chromosome is longer than the y chromosome. Okay. Then the last one is question C saying, using a genetic diagram, explain why both boys were hemophilic six marks. So this one is flea mark, or these are flea marks. So the diagram is going to look like this. Since the father was uh, normal, I'm going to say the phenotype. It is the father close with the mother. The phenotype is just an external appearance of the living organism. So like the way I'm speaking, the way I'm recording this video, you can easily identify that I am a male because of uh, the voice. Okay, even the external appearance. So followed by the genotype, the genotype is an, is the genetic composition of a living organism. So as for the genotype, the father has two chromosomes, the X and the Y. So I'm going to say X to the power capital letter H, which is the dominant gene, and Y. Close to Fe, H to the power small letter H, X to the power small letter H. Then we can split the gametes. We are going to find that H to the power, X to the power H will be alone. Then Y will be alone. And also, to the mother, we need to do the same. Then here we are going to close. We are going to find that here we are going to have X to the power capital letter H, X to the power small letter H. So this one here, according to the phenotype, we are going to find that this one is going to be normal, but is going to be a carrier. A carrier doesn't mean that someone is sick, but it's just a carrier of that disease. Followed by X to the power capital letter H, X to the power, 
small theta h. Even this one is going to be normal. Now, a carrier. A carrier is a normal, but it is just a carrier of that disease. Okay? It doesn't mean that a person is sick. It is just a carrier of that disease. Then lastly, we have x to the power small theta h, then y. This one here, it is hemophilic because this one is recessive and the sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. Okay, then lastly here we have uh, X to the power capital, uh, let me say small letter H, then Y. Even this one here is going to be hemophilic. We have shown that two sons have produced which are hemophilic. Let me repeat. Sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. In an exam, they can ask you to explain why males are highly affected by sex-linked characteristic. You are going to say, the first thing, sex-linked characteristic does not occur on the Y chromosome. Then apart from that one, a female can't be a carrier. A female can't be a carrier. A female can only, let me say, not a female, but a male. A male can't be a carrier, not a female. A male can't be a carrier, but a female can be a carrier. Why am I saying this? Let's say, for example, if you say H to the power capital letter, X to the power capital letter H, you are going to find that that one is going to be a normal. Now, if you say X to the power small letter H, you are going to find that that one is, not, is going to be hemophilic, not a carrier. So, a male can't be a carrier, but a female can be a carrier. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Remember to subscribe. Bye.